Chili Monster, and welcome to my series of very easy ukulele lessons. This is lesson six, which will look at simple strumming and playing in time. This lesson assumes that you can play the chords of G, D, C, and E minor. If you can't, please watch lessons two and three first before attempting this lesson. So far we've been concentrating on learning the basic major and minor chords and practicing them by playing well-known songs at our own pace. And hopefully you've now become fairly proficient at moving smoothly from one chord to another. This is a great way of learning and practicing. However, there may be times when you want to play along with other musicians or perhaps play along with your favorite music. And this means playing at a set pace or speed. And this is what is meant by playing in time. So let's look at timing first. Here's a very simple drum beat. As you can hear, it's just a kick drum, which is playing on each beat of a bar. The bar has four beats. One, two, three, four. And this is what is known as 4-4 four, four timing. Let's strum a G chord along with the beat using just one down strum on each beat like this. Now I'm going to add a snare drum on every half beat like this. One and two and three and four and. Let's strum the G chord along with this beat using one down strum on the kick beat and one up strum on the snare beat like this. Now let's vary it slightly and play two faster down strums and one up strum like this. Okay, with the beat. I'm going to add a couple of extra kick and snare beats into this rhythm, like this. To complete the drum beat, I'm going to add some hi-hats, like this. Now let's add a bass line, like this. And this is the first bar of the song that we're going to learn to play in this lesson, which is the Monster Mash by Bobby Pickett and the Crypt Kickers. I've chosen this for two reasons. Firstly, it's a very easy song to play, so you should be able to learn it pretty quickly. Secondly, I have a video of me playing the song on my YouTube channel, which you can play along with to practice playing in time with a full song. As I said, the song is very simple and except for one short bridge, it's just four chords. G, E minor, C, and D. All of which we've played before. So you shouldn't have any great problem playing the riff. But before we go ahead and play it, I want to show you another alternative way of playing the E minor chord. If you watched the last lesson, you will have seen how the E minor chord can be played as a G chord with an extra note from the pinky on the 4th fret of the 3rd string like this. And if we look at the chord pictures, you can see that the chord is made up of B, G, E and G. However, we can also add another note by putting the pinky flat across the 4th fret of both the 3rd and 4th strings like this. The chord is now made up of B, G, E, and B. Still an E minor chord, but with a slightly different tone. And this is how we're going to play E minor in this song. Here we go then. G, E minor, C, D. The strum pattern is the one that we've just learned, uh, and stays the same for both verse and chorus. So we have a verse, G, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. So it's 
E minor. C. Then to D. For the last strum on that line, change to down, up, down to lead into the chorus. So the D line is Then we have the chorus, exactly the same as the verse, with the same lead back into the verse. So it would go G Down, up, down at the end there, to lead back into the verse. Let's run through that again. Now let's try playing it in time with the drum track and the bass line. There is a lead in from the drums which goes like this. After which the bass joins in and runs through one sequence of G, E minor, C, D as an intro before the first verse starts, like this. Let's try playing the intro and a verse and chorus like this. Again, you need to practice this until you can keep in time with the drum track and change chords with the bass. So here's the intro plus the first two verses and choruses to play along with. Remember to wait for the drum intro to finish before joining in. Excellent. Now that you can play along in time, the rest is easy. After the second verse, there is a short bridge of C, D, C, D. Remember the alternative way to play the D chord from the last lesson, like this? Well, we can use it again here to lead back from the bridge into the next verse. The strum pattern is down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down. So it's... D C Then when we get to the D, we play three straight down strums in time with the beat and then go to the high D and we go down, up, down, up, down So it's D 
Let's try playing the intro and the first two verses and the choruses, followed by the bridge, like this. Great, now let's do that one more time, but with some added sax and piano to beef it up a bit like this. Got that? Fantastic. The rest of the song is just verse, then chorus, repeated three more times, then played till the end of the song. Ready to have a go at the whole song? Good. As I said at the start of this lesson, I have a video of me playing the whole song on my YouTube channel, which you can play along with to practice playing in time. To find this, just search YouTube for Chili Monster Presents The Monster Mash, or find it on my YouTube channel if you're subscribed to it, and have a go at playing along with the whole song. If you need a song sheet for this particular song, or if you need a chord chart, don't forget to visit my website at www.shroprock.co.uk and click on Chili Monsters ukulele pages where you can find the song sheets and the chord charts to download. Thanks for watching.